the baking sheet out. Welcome back, y'all. It is Friday afternoon. We just got finished with schoolwork, got everything cleaned up in there. We're coming out here now to give the chickens a little bit of cantaloupe and some strawberry tops. And we're gonna go down to the shed so I can see what kind of wood we have down there. I was talking to Titus this morning about the brooder box that we need for the chicks. I would love to get them tomorrow, but we need the brooder box. Hello, Miss Turkey. I can't believe it. Turkey eggs? What, she laid three eggs? Has she been hiding these? I can't believe we've not seen these eggs. Miss Turkey. We're gonna have to do the egg test to see if these are any good. I mean, they're not, there's no baby turkeys or anything in here because we don't have a male turkey. So I cannot believe I haven't seen these eggs. I think she just started laying these since the weather got warmer. You're a good chicken catcher, huh? Yeah. I can pick up chickens all day. They got feathers. Yeah, they got feathers. Come back here. That's good. Miss Turkey loves cantaloupe. Oh no, I did not just feel a raindrop. I did. What? It's barely sprinkling. Maybe it'll stop in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and do the egg test with the turkey eggs and see if they're any good. If they float, they're bad. If they sink, they're good. We ready? We'll start with this one that I think is the freshest one. It's good. It's sinking. It's not trying to stand up or float or anything. I'll go ahead and clean these when we get inside and put them in the refrigerator. <laughs> this one, I think is the second newest one. Let's see. It's sinking. Uh -oh. Roosty's excited. Now this next one, I don't know about. It's good too. None of them are wanting to stand up or float. They're good. That was a very big surprise. I think it was early in the fall, the last time we got an egg from her. So this is the difference between a turkey egg and a chicken egg, and they taste the same. We've eaten the other eggs that she laid before. They taste just like a chicken egg, but the shell is a lot harder to crack. It's a really, really tough shell. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. They, like, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was a turkey egg or a chicken egg. Have y'all ever seen a close-up of turkey feet? There you go. They kind of look like dinosaur feet. What are you looking for? There are eggs in her, in her tummy. Oh, there are eggs in her tummy? Right this way, ladies. Right this way. I come in too. You come in too? Yeah. <laughs> How many scoops today, everyone? You love brooder box? <laughs> Do you know what a brooder box is? Yeah, they're big. It's a box for the baby chicks to stay in. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely plenty of boards. I just don't know. There's some smaller ones over there. I just don't know how many. I'm gonna step over here and see how many there are of those. I mean, I could build one. It wouldn't look good. Yeah, Ty can build one too. Yeah, Ty can build one. All right, y'all, we are back inside. I'm gonna make lasagna for supper. I was gonna do a skillet lasagna, but everybody's gonna be here for supper tonight, and I would need to do two skillets, so I've changed my mind. I'm just gonna do the big nine by 13 easy lasagna that we do. I mean, the skillet one was gonna be easy too. Like I said, I'd have to do two of them. So I've got about three pounds of ground beef right here. Sometimes I chop up an onion and different stuff like that to put in here. I think I'm just gonna add some garlic this time because I already have some minced up. We're gonna use jarred pasta sauce and oven ready lasagna, which a lot of y'all told me that you use regular lasagna, even the kind that doesn't say oven ready, but you use it like oven ready and it works fine. So I've never tried that. I always just use the oven ready or if I have the regular kind, I cook it first, you know. I see y'all living on the wild side out there. Okay, so we're just gonna cook up the ground beef. I'll put a little salt and pepper and some garlic in here. And then while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cheese mixture ready. I'm using uh, cottage cheese this time instead of ricotta just because the bigger thing of cottage cheese was cheaper at Aldi. So we like it either way with cottage cheese or ricotta. I don't know what happened to that minced garlic, y'all. This is everybody's absolute favorite lasagna. We've made several different kinds. Yeah, that's it, Cece found the garlic. But yeah, I've even made the lazy lasagna where you use the ravioli. We'll put in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Um, and I've done the homemade, like where you do homemade sauce, all of that, but this one right here is everybody's favorite. If they request lasagna, this is the one they want. Oh, garlic smells wonderful. We found some really good movies on that Up Faith and Family. 
They have really good movies on there. Y'all remember it's that subscription that I um, did the 30 day free trial and forgot to cancel before the 30 days was up. I think we're gonna keep it for a little while. It's only, I think it's $5.99 a month or something, but they have really good movies on there. Tyler's over there looking for some for movie night now, I think. Oh, he's already got one on. What is that one? Oh, Ernest Rides Again. They have a lot of the Ernest movies on there. And one of my favorites, it is so funny, it's called Alter Ego or Alter Egos. So if you have Up Faith and Family and haven't watched that one, it's really funny. Anyway, it's been making movie night a lot easier since we've had it because there's so many on there and they change them, you know. I'm not exactly sure how often they change them, but they put different ones on there and there's TV shows on there. But yeah, it's easy to pick a movie on movie night now. Manly fell asleep right over there. Can y'all see him? He's in the recliner. He got tired out there playing. He skipped his nap today. He's at the stage where he wants to skip his nap, but he also still needs his nap. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my nine by 13 pan out and a bowl to mix the cottage cheese stuff. So after we eat supper and clean the kitchen while the kids are taking turns with baths, I'm gonna make some cookie cup sundaes. You just use a muffin tin and press your cookie dough down into it to make your bowls and then you just bake them in the oven. Oh, I need to turn my oven on. I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese in here too. We got a little basil plant back here. So good. With mozzarella cheese and a little basil leaf and one of those tomatoes, that is great. We're gonna have a salad with this lasagna. I'm hungry, can y'all tell? We're eating a little later tonight because Titus is gonna be late getting home. Since it was Friday and movie night anyway, I just waited later to cook. This ground beef is almost done over here. For the cheese mixture, we're gonna put in this whole, let's see, 24 ounce container of cottage cheese. Hey, Cece, do you wanna shred the mozzarella? Yeah. Oh, she's getting some basil and cheese. Okay, so we've got the cottage cheese in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some parsley flakes. I don't always put Parmesan but I have some this time, so we're gonna go ahead and shake some of that in. Two beaten eggs. While she's shredding the mozzarella, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the ground beef over here. Okay, I got the ground beef drained, so now I'm just gonna add the pasta sauce in over here. All right, Sissy put in about a cup of mozzarella. She's gonna mix that all together. and I'm gonna cover it with foil, but since it's so full, I'm gonna spray the foil with a little bit of cooking spray. That way the cheese won't stick to it too bad. All right, it's going in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Then we'll remove the foil for about 10 more minutes to let the cheese get nice and melty on top. All right, the lasagna is done. It needs to cool down a little bit before we try to cut into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cookies in here for the cookie sundae cups or sundae bowls. I'm gonna spray the pan real quick. I always wipe the top of the muffin pan back off after I spray it. That way it doesn't get cooked on there and it kinda saves all that sticky mess that gets on it if it gets cooked on. So we're just using chocolate chip cookie dough and I've had it sitting out for a little bit so it could soften up a little bit and be easier to shape here. And I don't think we'll need too much per cup. We'll start with about this much and see if this is enough because even if it does bake up in the muffin cup, you can just take something and press it down. So we're just gonna press it into each little muffin section. I think we have enough for three more here, Cece, so we'll get about nine out of this regular sized cookie dough pack. I'll wipe out those that I put that other spray in. Now we'll go ahead and put these in the oven, and then when we finish supper, the cookie bowls will be ready. 